Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's jump into this Aries. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Aries with a clear and concise message from you. All right, so Aries, it looks like... Um, so this week we have the Fool as the situation, the Eight of Wands as the advice, and then we have the King of Coins as the outcome. Um, okay, so in career and finance, you need to take the leap of faith. You need whatever it is you need you want to do, you need to do it. You're gonna have some beginner's luck behind this. Also, it, it says a new start to a job or a business. You can do it. Um, this is going to be prime opportunity or creative opportunity that presents itself to you. You need to act fast on it um, because this is what you've been manifesting. You've been manifesting an opportunity that will put you in the king of coins status where money is just made. You're making money in your sleep. You, you're doing something um, that will set you up for the long term or the long haul. Uh, you may even get some advice or you need to go to some male or masculine energy that can give you good advice, good business advice, or that could be a, a good business ally here. Um, you need to release fear here um, because it's keeping you imprisoned, stuck, confined, uh, and doing whatever it is you're doing now. It's like you won't branch out or you won't branch off. And the cards are asking you, it says, what do you need to release? And it looks like for some of you, you need to release fear. You need to relinquish uh, you might need to relinquish some of the uh, fear based thought that you have in order to get what you want. As long as you wait, something is going to kind of slip through your fingers. So this is an opportunity that you need to take now. You need to jump in. You need to dive in. Um, you need to explore this because it can turn out very well for you. You could work with children or something to do with children. You could um, you could need to analyze situations that you're in, something to do with children and or upbringing or, or rearing or growing, something of that nature or learning. Um, something about systematic, so I don't know if you're in a system or system, system, children, something of that nature. So if you're in that type of field, you need to actually take some action to start something new or to go and ask for the raise or the promotion or you may even travel for work, okay? Um, you need to ask for something that you are um, wanting here or that you feel like you deserve in your her time off or travel time or you need to get money for traveling or something of that nature. You need to ask for it because someone is expecting you to be the sweetheart, the person that just does it or does this or just takes this or you need to kind of stand up for yourself you need to um, declare your intentions and what you intend to happen in this uh, relationship between you and job, you and business, you and whatever. Okay? If this is love, this is um, this could have been a relationship where there was uh, no strings attached, no title. It could have been sex only, friends with benefits, something of that nature. Um, you need to make your declarations known to this person. There's also a level of, of obsession and infatuation here. I don't know if it's you, but your your energy Aries is showing up twice with the fool. I don't know if, you, if you're obsessed with an outcome. If you're obsessed with a, a specific person, um, you're overthinking something, okay? You need to release this, okay? Because it says, what do you need to release? Because something is making you feel confined, stuck, or in prison. Or this is how someone feels about you. They need to speak to you. They need to talk to you. They're obsessed with you. 
Um, something is ego based too. Somebody wants you back or they want to possess you or to have a relationship because it, it feeds their ego. It feeds their need to um, to be validated or validation. But this could have just been a big um, lesson for you. The Ten of Wands talks about lessons. Um, it also talks about um, maybe toxic or um, karmic lessons need to be learned here. Uh, because you were in something and you didn't know where it was going. You didn't know. There was no structure. There was no focus. There was no agenda. There was no declaring what you guys are doing or making any de declaration of love or intentions here. It was just more so just a lot of activity. And you were stuck in this situation for a while. Or this is how you had some one Aries. It's, it's about learning for some of you to assert yourself. Be confident enough to ask for what it is you want. Be confident enough to walk away and to release things that no longer serve you. Um... Someone could want to come back to you and say sorry to you, or you need to say sorry to someone else. There's a lot of tensions. There's a lot of um, a lot to do, or a lot that you're doing. There could be also a lot of travel. You need to partake in some meditation or yoga or something of that nature. This could have been a person that you had a specific history with, you grew up with, or they have children, or you have children. You guys could have gone on your own paths and then found your way back to each other. But right now, it's just a wait and see game. And nothing is turning over because no one's making a move here. So the advice here for this week is to maybe to just release this, relinquish this. Because somebody's too obsessed with the outcome and not obsessed with learning the lesson as to why this person was in their life. You could be dealing with Sagittarius and Aries like yourself, an Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini. You could be dealing with anyone. Someone may come to you and apologize to you in hopes that you would take them back. They still have no plan for the relationship and they may even try to dominate you or, you know, exert their will over you. They have their plan for themselves and they want you to be a part of it. So that's what I have for you this week, Aries. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Bye.